So hi everyone, Google has just now released Notebook LM. So basically it is a RAG UI system. RAG is basically connecting your offline documents like PDF to chat with them and with a lot of new additional features. So let's try it out before jumping on to the details. So you just need to log into your Google account. Then you should be able to see a window like this where you can create a new notebook. If you wish to get an idea, you can go to the demo notebooks that are present. If I create a new notebook, so once the notebook, once the document gets loaded, you would see an automatic summary that is getting generated and then you can do a lot of things around it. So basically not just one document, you can upload multiple documents also here. Now the notebook has been loaded, the PDF has been loaded and you can see, you can summarize, the summary has been generated automatically. There are a few more features as you can see, FAQs study guide, table of content, timeline, briefing doc, deep dive conversation, two hosts, English only. So this is basically audio based. So that's the best part. So it would be a conversation that would be going on. So let's try it out the first basic ones. So let me generate a table of content for the book. The book already has a table of content, but eventually as you would see here, it would be generating small descriptions also for all the chapters and sub chapters. So that's a new thing. And a lot of customization is available. A lot of ease of using the rack system is available. So I have been developing a number of rack system using Python and developing these features might take some time. So I think this looks very sleek to me. The UI is good. And the best part is uh, Google is providing Gemini 1.5 Pro, their best model for this particular notebook LM. So the results are also amazing. Uh, generating a table of content might take some time. So let's wait for it. Now here you can see that the table of content has been generated and even the subtopics have been included. What are LLMs? It is mentioning the page number and then giving a brief around it. Page numbers are mentioned, the major headings are mentioned, subheadings are mentioned. So it looks a very comprehensive table of content for the book. Now let me ask it a question. Summarize chapter 3. I myself don't remember what the chapter 3. I think it was around models and prompts what i remember so let's see what it generates here you can see that it is able to generate oh chapter 3 was around different line chain modules it is able to summarize i remember this was the content that i mentioned looking quite exactly the same here it is also mentioning some suggested questions what are the two main types of models used in line chain and how do they differ Basically, it is reading my document and these are the points that I've covered. So it is prompting me questions around that only. So that's quite amazing. You can save this note also. And now the notes get saved here. So you can maintain our entire notes on based on your PDF or based on your other files and then save it here. So I think this is just an amazing UI a software that they have developed. Here you can see notebook guide also a number of things that you can do here. Briefing doc timeline. Let me check what is in timeline. So chatting is always available, but apart from that, other options also you can explore FAQ, study guide, briefing doc, table of content, deep dive conversation. This is the audio part, audio overview. So that would be great, but it takes some time. So I'm avoiding it in this particular tutorial. So timeline of event. Uh, there is no clear timeline because it's a book basically, right? So they are, it is trying to capture out different things. It is basically not for a technical book, the timeline thing. It could have been better for a playwriting sort of a script. Let me check out some other features, briefing doc, study guide. Let me try out what study guide outputs us. And the basic chat option is always available. So I think this looks amazing uh, and it's free to use for now. I don't see any pricing associated with it and they are providing the best LLM also. So I think it's all a bonus for the users. Let me check out this particular section where you can collapse your left pane. So here you can see that it is able to develop some study guide quiz for me asking what questions you can ask, what answers you can generate. So it can be a great boon for teachers, I would say. And yeah, FAQs. So in all, I think this uh, notebook LM looks great. And I think if you are a non-developer or if you want to summarize 
if you want to interact with a, with a long PDF or even a short PDF, a little complicated one, can be a great place to come and store your notes, ask different questions, do different types of things like generate a table of content. Audio generation is also there. So sort of a podcast can be generated. So here you can see what we generated for this. Yeah, looks great. Looks great because it is covering some major questions that I have asked and that I have mentioned in my book. So these FAQs have been mentioned. Let me try out this last one. I think this might take some time. So this may take a few minutes. No need to stick around. So this will take some time. So we will avoid this. This is basically an audio overview. So it will generate a sort of a podcast out based on the book. So I think the features looks amazing. Worth trying out. Ask different questions. Try out these features and let me know in comments how you feel about Notebook LM. Stay tuned.